Great, thanks. Okay. All right. Um, so as I was saying, I was catch I'm Katrina previously the University Copyright Officer at QUT um, and currently the Director of Strategy and Analytics at Call. Um, and I'm joined today by Rani McLennan, who is the Copyright Information Officer at Queensland University of Technology. So before we commence this session on copyright, I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands where Rani and I are today, the Turrbal and Yagara people, and pay respect to elders past, present and emerging. We recognise that these lands have always been places of teaching, research, learning and sharing knowledge. I also want to note that there are many systems and ways of creating, sharing and protecting knowledge. Copyright is a Western legal construct which recognises and protects individual property rights and is designed to promote economic growth. Copyright and other intellectual property rights are limited in their ability to recognise and protect Indigenous cultural and intellectual property. So copyright is everyone's business. It underpins the academic publishing industry and access to scholarly outputs. So it is essential that researchers understand copyright, how to use others' material and how to protect their own rights. Our approach to copyright literacy is to make this complex topic accessible, engaging and practical. And in our lightning talk today, we will provide um, five uh, simple tips on copyright to help you help your researchers grasp this complex subject. So um, I'm just going to get started with a very quick definition of copyright. So copyright is the automatic legal protection given to all original work which we create in a material form. It is the protection given to the expression of an idea and not the ideas themselves. In Australia, copyright is automatic and applies as soon as the work has been put into a material form, such as being written down or recorded in some way. And it applies to both print and digital material. So copyright owners have the exclusive right to publish the work, communicate the work to the public, copy the work, perform the work in public or make an adaptation of the work. So your researchers will be involved in creating copyright content like scholarly articles, preprints, theses, book chapters, data sets, report, uh, reports, data management plans, blog posts, infographics, images, figures and more. So our tips will are designed to help them understand how to use and protect their copyright material. Um, so I'm now going to hand it over to Rani for our five tips for researchers. So oh, um, value your content. So if you don't, someone else will. <clears throat> Think about how you might want to use your original content, be it the text, images or data in the future. How you choose to share your work with the public may limit the way you can use your work in the future. For example, you create an image using a light microscope that you'd like to publish in an article. However, you submitted the image into a research photography competition months ago. You won and they published it already. The competition entry form stated that you assigned your copyright to the organisers and you can no longer use it without permission from the copyright owner. Tip two, um, publishing, congratulations. When publishing your work, as the author of the work, you have some degree of control over what rights you retain and assign to the publisher. A publishing agreement may involve granting the publisher a license to publish or an assignment of copyright, which means the publisher owns the copyright in the paper. The agreement will define the rights, if any, which are retained by you as the author. This is why it's very important to read the publisher's agreement and understand what the publisher is requesting you assign in terms of your copyright. So make sure you read it and you keep a copy. If you're confused, get advice from your supervisor or copyright officer. Number three, you may be able to negotiate the terms of the agreement if they're unsuitable. <clears throat> Tip four, um, consider publishing your images and figures under a Creative Commons license prior to submitting your article for publication. If you're publishing your research in an open access journal, you will retain the rights you, to reuse your work. If you are handing over your copyright to the publisher of a subscription journal, however, consider, consider first publishing your images, figures, tables, or other supplementary material with a Creative Commons license. This will allow you to reuse these research outputs in other publications without the need to seek permission from the publisher. You simply need to cite yourself in the article. And lastly, find out who your copyright officer is, how to contact them, 
and seek them out when you need guidance. They specialize in the application of copyright in teaching, learning and research materials and are more than happy to help. We hope these quick tips will help you and your researchers manage their copyright now and into the future.